Every time I go on vacation, I am overwhelmed by the importance of rest. And I'm struck with how much I neglect it. Been on vacation at a vacation town that has some incredible beaches, staying in a resort with my family, with my parents. I have needed this so bad. There's a number of projects in my life right now. I haven't even told you guys, I'm working on a book right now. Um, 50,000 words in on that. You know, ministry is very demanding. It asks a lot of you. And it's a noble cause. Not to mention the extremely noble cause of being a parent and a husband. The mission of raising good kids and honoring my wife properly. Leading her more deeply into a relationship with Christ. What I'm summarizing are my responsibilities. And this week, in many senses, I've just taken a break from responsibility. I haven't worked on my book at all. I haven't really plugged into any work tasks. Um, been trying to be a good father and husband still, really doubling down into that. But a week of decompressing the importance of rest. And for you watching this, you need to find rest if you don't have it. Gen Z is asphyxiated with success. And a huge portion of that is in academics, extracurriculars, what the future looks like, finances. I think Gen Z probably has a really hard time resting. And so I want to call you to that. The Sabbath was instituted, number one, for glorifying God and for remembering the work that God did in salvation and creation of his people. Yet I think it was also practically instituted. The people of God, people in general, need to rest. Breaking the Sabbath was not a joke, it was serious. Rest is serious. And so I call you to that now, as I've been called to that this past week. Seek out rest in your life. Start planning today to make rest happen tomorrow. Maybe you can find a place like this with beautiful views, swimming pools, boats on the water. You can find some comfort. God, you are so good. Thank you so much for calling us to rest. I'm so thankful that you haven't called us to reap the harvest every year, year after year, year after year, year after year. But that you, in your provision, made sure the land would rest every several years, that in your provision you made sure that every seven days your people would stop their routines and rhythms and rest. God, I'm so thankful that in every area of your law in the Old Testament and even in your commands throughout the New Testament, God, that you afforded rest for your people. You are so great. Your foresight is so much greater than mine, I would royally screw things up if I was God. Thank you that I'm not God. That you are God. Yahweh. I love you with my whole being. 
And I worship you, God. Submit this channel to you. I submit myself to you, my family to you, everything to you, God. Lead me into your path. It's in Jesus' name. Amen.